So investing in the stock market has become ever more available to the wider public. And there are some great companies out there who are competing to make investing as fast, as simple, and as easy as possible. And what's more easier and faster to do than using an app on your phone to invest. In this video, I'll be reviewing five of the best apps I could possibly find on the UK market for total beginners and intermediates. No computer or laptop is required to set up your account, deposit money and start investing. Some of these apps allow you to invest with as little as one pound. So it's great for people of all ages and all incomes. During the video, I'll be reviewing the apps based on their simplicity, how user-friendly they are, investment charges and fees, and then you can decide which is best for you. I would really recommend you watching the entire video because some of these apps are for different purposes and it's good to understand them all before you start your investment journey. Quick disclaimer, I have not been asked to promote any company that I'll be talking about in this video and it's just purely based off my own research and my own experience in investing, which is why I'd really appreciate if you do smash that like button and leave a comment below it would really really make my day also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and not miss out in any future videos just like this one so let's get into the video in no particular order the first app we're going to talk about is called nutmeg so i'll start with this app because in my opinion it's probably one of the easiest and user-friendly ways to invest. And that's probably because of the fact that it's a robo-advisor app, meaning that you don't have to know anything about investing. You don't have to know anything about stocks and shares, anything about bonds, anything about index funds, absolutely nothing. When I mean nothing, I really do mean nothing. What you do is basically build a profile that suits your needs and your goals. Set exactly how long you want to invest for. Deposit money upfront or regular monthly installments. Determine how risky you want the investment to be. And that's it, the app takes care of the rest. The app even shows you just how much money you can possibly or potentially make after an investment period has finished. I love that. I think it's absolutely great for people, especially beginners who have absolutely no idea about what stocks to pick, what index funds to choose, what bonds to pick, or how to mix those things up to create a diversified portfolio. Because throughout the whole process, you'll never ask any of those things. All you will ask is how much money you're gonna put up, how long for, how risky you wanna be, and that's it. Nutmeg does the rest for you. It focuses on one thing and one thing only, your goals and what you want to achieve. With this app, you do need a minimum investment of £500 to get started. I mean, it doesn't seem like much, right? But it is when you compare it to some of the other apps on this list. Now, let's talk about fees. Now, when you're using robo-advisor apps, you have to be really careful when it comes to fees because there are two components you need to consider. Number one, the app or Nutmeg itself has a fee that it charges you for making this entire process so simple and slick i.e. not needing any investment knowledge whatsoever. So for this service, Nutmeg app charges you between 0.25% and 0.75% of your investment per year as an ongoing charge. Second thing, there are additional costs of invest. So the funds and bonds that Nutmeg picks to invest in also have their own charge. And those fees average around 0.17% to 0.32%. So if you add it all up, then you can see the charges could start looking a bit expensive. But compared to other robo-advisors out there, it's pretty low. However, you can avoid the first fee, the robo-advisor fee altogether. If you were to pick the funds or the index funds, bonds and stocks and shares yourself using something like Vanguard. Van but with Vanguard, you do need a little, not much, but a little investment knowledge in order to pick what you want to invest in and understand all the charges of the things that you've picked. Robo-advisors like Nutmeg take all that decision making away from you. Essentially saying any idiot with a bit of money can make money. If you do want to understand more about how to invest in the stock market or index funds and bonds uh, using something like Vanguard and avoid all those robo-advisor fees, then check out my beginner's video in the description below. So the next app on this list is called Wealthify. Now this app is also a robo-advisor app, so just like Nutmeg, it's super simple and user-friendly, requires zero investment knowledge, and is very much goal orientated and focused on your needs. So instead of me going through the pros and cons again, because it's very similar to Nutmeg, I'll just go through the main differences between the two. Unlike Nutmeg, with Wealthify, you can invest with as little as one pound. So it's absolutely great for beginners, especially if you just want to, you know, play around with the app, see its features, see what kind of portfolio you can build, etc. You can create an account with just one pound. So let's talk about the fees because the fees are different here. So with Wealthify, the actual app's fee is at 0.6%, which is pretty high when you compare it to Nutmeg. And then when you add in the average investment costs of around 0.22% to 0.66%, in total, we're looking at around 0.82% to 1.26% percent 
of overall ongoing yearly costs. So if I was to choose between the two, the two robo advisors, Nutmeg and Wealthify, I would definitely go for Wealthify if you're someone who's looking to just play around with the app itself, you know, chucking maybe 10, 30 quid and see how it works, you know, get familiar with the whole robo advisor, you know, structure and how you build a portfolio, etc. Um, and then maybe when you start to get a bit more serious and you put more money in, then switch over to Nutmeg um, and then, you know, start using that because the fees are a lot lower there. And it just makes sense because they, they offer the exact same thing so the next app on this list is called moneybox now moneybox is an app that's come up with a digital solution to deal with the spare change that you have on any transactions that you make by rounding up that transaction and either saving the spare change or investing for example you go buy a coffee for three pounds sixty moneybox will automatically round up that transaction to four pounds and then you can choose to either invest or save that 40p spare change. Basically the idea here is that all these bits of small change will eventually turn to pounds that are either being saved or invested, essentially making you money in the long run. It's actually really easy to set up and really simple to use. All you need to do once you've downloaded the app is allow access to your debit or credit card of choice and the app will take care of the rest. However, the downside is that not all credit cards are accepted. I was in the process of setting up my American Express card on this app when it declined, which is a bummer and unfortunately pretty useless to me because I use my Amex for almost everything. But Moneybox did say they are working to get Amex support. So once that happens, I think it'll be a pretty cool app. Just to illustrate how it works, I just added a debit card that I use from time to time and I was able to round up five pounds worth of change immediately. So now let's get to the investment part. This is where the app is somewhat limited. The investment part is similar to the robo-advisors like Nutmeg and Wealthify as in you don't really need to know anything about investing or stocks or the markets, anything like that whatsoever. But Moneybox is a lot more limited compared to Nutmeg and Wealth. If you can't set a goal for your investments, you can't set a time period. The number of portfolios and risk rings are quite limited compared to Nutmeg and Wealth. The app seems to be more geared towards saving your money rather than investing. However, you can invest as little as one pound. So it's a pretty good app to just get started and play around. With. Let's look at the fees and charges for investing with Moneybox. So these fees and charges are specifically with the investment part to just use the saving component there are no charges first you have to pay a one pound a month subscription fee to have this investment then the app has an annual 0.45 percent platform fee and then you've got investment charges which average around 0.12 percent to 0.3 percent right so the next app on this list is called trading 212 so this app is a trading platform which focuses on commission free trading so that basically means you can buy stocks directly like amazon google facebook nike or whatever and pay zero percent commission on the trade it's a big deal because until recently most brokers would charge you every single time you make a trade nowadays we have a lot more competition and a lot more companies who are offering zero percent commission trading 212 offers a large array of us and uk stock as well as index fund etf you can also trade forex cryptocurrencies and commodities such as gold so this app is absolutely brilliant if you want to get involved in many different sectors using just one app what's also great is that you can buy fractional shares so what that means is for example say you wanted to buy an amazon stock well, normally one amazon stock will cost you roughly two thousand three hundred dollars but say you just wanted to buy one hundred dollars worth of amazon stock well this app allows you to do that also this app allows you to start with just one pound invested so it's great for beginners great for starters and great for people who just want to play around with that but also you can open a practice account so basically you can open an account play around with it you know buy some stocks and just train yourself without investing any real money as you've probably guessed trading 212 is not a robo advisor app like nutmeg or wealthy so you do need some basic to intermediate knowledge of investments stocks and shares and the market so you can't be completely ignorant like you can be with the rover with a robo advisor app. so if you're someone who's looking to take investments and stocks and shares etc a little bit more seriously then this app is perfect for you so this app is not as simple and intuitive as some of the other ones so there is a small learning curve here so the next app on this list is called free trade as the name suggests this is also a commission-free trading platform just like trading 212 so you can buy individual stocks such as amazon google facebook and pay no commission they offer both us and uk stock you can buy over 50 etf you can even create an account without investing a penny and just get started the app has a really simple user interface it's very intuitive so it's great for beginners who just want to get started investing and now here comes the downside of this app firstly that app does not offer any forex trading any cryptocurrencies or commodities it offers a stocks and shares isa but at a fee of three pounds per month 
It's free on Trading212. You can't buy fractional shares. All their customer service is based online. So if you do have any problems, you, there's no one to call. There's no phone number. And just like Trading212, this app is for you know mostly people who want to get into trading and investments and take that a bit more seriously. So guys, one thing you do want to bear in mind when you're looking around for investment apps is that there are a ton of them out there. There are so many out there, so many, so much competition for, the, for, for, for apps that pretty much do the same thing. But only until you start drilling down into the details do you notice that one is better in this aspect and one is better here, etc, etc. When you start drilling down to the details like looking at some of the, you know, the charges, etc. and how, many, how much they charge in terms of fees and subscriptions, then they start to differ, for, differ from app to app. However, you need to find the app that's best suits you and this is why the list comprises of three apps that are essentially robo advisors so you don't need to know absolutely nothing about stocks and shares nothing about investing whatsoever you can be a nurse you can be a doctor you could be you know the bin man and you can invest using these apps that's how good they are okay but they do come with high fee costs so you do have to watch out for that and then the last two apps were, were genuine trading apps okay so they're completely different to the to the first three apps these are trading apps so if you actually have some sort of knowledge in investing or trading per se then these are the type of apps you want to be using and they're great for beginners because you know you can start investing with as little as one pound or you can actually open a practice account in in trading 212 this is why i love trading 212 so much is because there's so much there to offer the app has so much functionality um, and it's great it's so great in fact that i'm thinking about converting or moving some of my vanguard investments over to this app because you know it's just a great thing to have to have it all in one place also vanguard don't have an app so you know there are some notable apps that i have not mentioned in this list and um, one that comes in comes to mind in particular is something called robin hood now robin hood is very popular in the us and unfortunately it's not here in the uk but they are working to try and get into the uk market um, and it's probably been slowed down because of the covid19 crisis but they are working to get here and once they do this could be a very competitive competitive app especially with trading 212 and free trade because they offer also um, no commission zero commission trading they offer actually cryptocurrencies on their market on their on their app so they offer a whole array of stuff and it's supposed to be super simple and super intuitive um, especially for people who just use their apps or use their phone most of the time um, and don't really bother with laptops and computers another thing you want to bear in mind when you're looking at these apps is um, you know do they offer desktop versions so you know free trade for example doesn't really have a desktop option it's purely an app also they're their, all their customer service is online so you can't exactly you know call anybody up to find support or you can't go online on your desktop and look at um, graphs in more detail but what they are trying to do and this is probably what's quite good about free trade is they're trying to make all that possible on the app so you don't have to go into a computer so you don't have to pull out your laptop to drill down into details and see things see graphs and um, reports in 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 ways where you can understand a bit better or see the better see more detail so that's what's good about these more these newer apps that are up and coming they are trying to obviously cater for the market for the younger generation who are coming up you might see trading 212 app for example as something that's more to geared towards the older generation because it's got all that functionality that the older generation would like um, so it's probably not that user friendly and it's not that intuitive in terms of the app and how you use it on your phone so you might find yourself a lot of the time going on your computer going on a laptop to check your investments and um, with a trading app like that but I hope they do improve it. Another trend that I'm starting to notice is that some of these newer apps are starting to introduce something called ethical investing. Now, Nutmeg, Wealthify, and Moneybox all offer this on their app. A lot more people care about this kind of stuff. A lot more people care about the environment. A lot more people care about people's well-being, people's mental health, etc. So, making ethical investments is becoming a new trend. Some of these apps, you know, offering those kind of services and those kind of products to the to the to the market is going to be, you know, a bit of a game game changer I think in the future because not everyone is you know money hungry not everyone wants to make that much money there's a lot of people out there who just want to you know make enough money to get by maybe they just want to make a bit more extra dough but they want to do it with a clear conscience okay so the last thing i want to mention i think is very very important that we actually talk about this is that when it comes to investing and choosing what app you want to invest in you need to understand you know for example where you're coming from what your situation is so for example a lot of younger generations say you're you know you're 18 years old 19 20 whatever you might not have that much money to to spare so you know some of these apps are great if you're just going to start with investing one pound as little as one pound or ten 
pound, 20 pounds, whatever. But once you start getting a bit more serious and if you want to make some serious money and if you want to actually be in a position where you don't have to work so hard for your money and you've got investments as a backup to give you some sort of passive income in the future, then you need to start thinking a bit bigger. And when you start to think bigger, then you need to start looking at apps or using apps that allow you to invest a bit bigger. That's when fees and all that sort of stuff comes into play because if we look at the robo-advisor apps, you know, they're great, they sound amazing, they're super slick, um, and they take away a lot of the decision-making, but they do charge higher fees. You know, you have to pay an app fee um, of almost 0.45% in, uh, in some of the lower lower ones, but up to 1% in some of, the, some of the other apps. So that's a big charge, 1% every single year of your total investment. So invest, if you're investing quite a lot of money, then you can see how much I can possibly add up to. So that's when you might want to start looking at more trading apps um, who offer, you know, zero commission, you know, trades, who offer very, very low fees for investments. For example, some of the index fund ETFs are low as 0.07%. So if apps like, you know, Nutmeg and Wealthify are using all these different types of stocks and index funds and bonds and shares, etc. And they're charging you like 0.5, 45% or 0.75% for them to, to, to pull all those things together and diversify the portfolio. It'd be good for you once you get a bit more experience to do it yourself. Go to the robot app like Nutmeg and look at their portfolio and see what they're investing in and then go away and just invest in those same stuff yourself. Um, once you become a little bit experienced, um, that's all there for you. That's the, the, the app is transparent enough to show you exactly what they're investing in. So you can look at that and go to an app like say Trading212, you know, Vanguard or you know, Free Trade, and you can look at this stuff that they're investing in um, and just replicate it, just replicate it exactly the same way. Um, and you save on all those nutmeg fee charges or those wealthy five fee charges. So it's, it's definitely worth considering. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time.